Today, I'm going to be showing you my brand new martingaling trading strategy. Now, if you're wondering why I started martingaling, it's just because I have an EA called Forex Flex. And I've had this EA for a while here, since about 2020, I bought the EA and I didn't really feel comfortable with martingaling. But now that I've become a little bit more experienced in the markets and I wanted to kind of put that EA to work, I decided to open up a live account and get it going. I still have my no-nonsense Forex uh, indicators up just in case I want to go back to trading no-nonsense Forex way. But as of right now, I'm going to be simply trading as this Forex Flex trades. It's completely 100% automated. And I did adjust some of the settings to ensure that I actually don't blow up my account. The first week I had a massive drawdown, uh, almost got margin called and stopped out by my broker. Uh, so I had to deposit new funds. And since then I've adjusted my settings in order to lower that chance of happening. I have my Forex Flex EA up here. Uh, it's on, running on the latest uh, stable version at 5.1b. And my first thing is at risk, I keep it at 0.1. I keep the risk setting as low as possible to keep my starting lot size as low as possible. Even if I had it at 0.3, which would have considered to be a low risk strategy, if my initial lot size had doubled, I could have potentially been stopped out much, much faster. Set the maximum amount of charts to one. Now this makes it so that even if I have a losing basket of trades, I'm only going to have a maximum of five trades going at any one time. If I was to put this at let's say two or three charts and I had five trades going on in any given time on each pair, that could potentially mean 10 to 15 trades open at one time, which would completely destroy my account. Reduce my drawdown is to close my basket before any major news events. This is gonna be to prevent major dips in my trading, and it's going to reduce the amount of drawdown that my account faces. If you keep your trades going open during major news events, that can heavily influence your trading, which is why I simply prefer to leave it off. If it uses a trailing stop loss in order to capture profits, it also uses virtual trades that it places before placing the real trade. And there are some more features and um, indicators that you can use. You can use RSI, you can use MACD, you can use TDI. I don't use any of those in my particular trading. And I have this trade, a basket of trades open here from Euro USD. Uh, we're in a small profit here at $22, which is close to 1% of my account. If you're wondering why my lot size hasn't changed, it's because I didn't exactly set the lot size to double. It's going to increase, but less than double. So that's why my lot size has stayed at 0.01 or at one micro lots for the three trades. So I am in a profit uh, about $130, which is roughly about 4% of my account. And that's just from the last month. Now, are you going to be making 10% a month using this trading strategy? Probably not, but you can still make a little bit of money while maintaining the integrity of your account, i.e. not blowing it up. I think that's really one of the things to look at when you're Martin Gilling is how do you trade without actually blowing your account? And I hope that I can actually continue to trade uh, this way uh, without putting my account into huge drawdown or huge loss. I think I've safeguarded myself uh, better than a lot of traditional Martin Gilling strategies have. But anyway, if you guys have any questions regarding uh, this Martin Gilling strategy, uh, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to be closely monitoring the strategy, seeing how it goes. Of course, I'm running a VPS to make sure that it actually runs automatically. And that VPS is hosted by, uh, I think it's Hotwinds. Uh, and yeah, I'll be seeing you guys in the future.